Hey everyone, it's Coffee Stitcher. Um, it is a lovely wet Thursday, um, right before Valentine's Day. Uh, for those who care. If you don't care about Valentine's Day, well then, there you go. Um, this is probably going to be a relatively short video. Um, I did want to kind of do my usual weekly check-in. I haven't had quite as much stitch time as I've wanted. Things at work were beyond insane, and so I did a lot of napping instead of working. And there was one night where it was I started working on something and ended up frogging it because I wasn't I'd screwed up and I thought, you know what, I'm too tired to really be stitching. Um so I've only done a little bit. Um but what little I have done has actually been very, very good progress. So I'm very, very happy. Um so I've got that that I will show. Um and I think I may actually pick up something small, just because I really need a little bit of a quick finish. Really, I should finish Rapunzel would be the smart thing to do. And I may. I don't know. We'll see. I actually have most of tomorrow off to stitch. Um, so I'm going to, after the video, kind of figure out what I want to work on. Um, so I can maybe feel like I've accomplished something. And yes, I'm playing with my cute snap. Um, so yes, so, um, oh, and I was actually going to, um, create a tag, but now I don't remember what my questions were. Crap. Okay, well, if I remember them, then I'm going to create a tag. If I don't remember them, then I'm not going to create a tag. Um... Okay, so, um, I guess the first thing I'll do is I actually worked on Poe. Um, I'd kind of been in the mood to work on Poe, and I'm very, actually, very, very proud of this. Um, I finished the moon. Look at that. Look at that moon. Look at it. It's Poe's face as a moon. I also got all the writing done at least on the top half. So that's where we are, and I started onto the roof of the House of Usher, and you can see where I... Oops, other direction. You can see where I kind of screwed up and was frogging, and then I got tired of frogging. So I know I just need to do that entire spot over again, so it's not like I'm going to lose my place because I didn't finish frogging. I, I just started one too close, and there was no way to adapt and adjust, so that just had to be frogged out. But Poe's moon is done! Um, and with the Poe stuff... I kind of got a mini finish there, but um, with Poe, the, the thing that I'm kind of doing is, um, like, each section of it is kind of a mini finish. So, the first section, here's the main chart, angle it so you can see. The first section was, of course, Annabelle Lee and her tower. The second section was supposed to be Poe, but then I got frustrated with Poe. So that was the moon and the writing. So that's its own section. Obviously, Telltale Heart. So the roof of the House of Usher is going to be its own section. And then the Mask of the Red Death and the top half of the house. And then the door will be its own. The pit and the pendulum will be its own. And then the bottom half of the house. And then the inkwell will be its own. I don't know if I'm going to count the raven as its own or not. I may not. And then, obviously, the final writing. So, there's really not all that much that's... It, it's got very easy-to-do piece, pieces. So, that's my, my plan um, with that. Um, because I've got to get some of these things that I've worked on started, finished. So I'm not allowing myself to start any new projects until I finish something, which is probably a good thing. Um, so there's that. Uh, I've got some work, more work done on Regina. Um, I actually just sort of stopped here with her for the night. Um, I got, I'm actually very, very pleased with the work that I got done. So here she is. Um, 
I think I had finished the top half and the apple in the last video, but in case I didn't, there they are, with some Krynik. Um, really, the only edits I've actually made to her are I made the stem green instead of brown, and I made the swirls an outline of it um, Krynik, because glittery. Um, and then I've got all of the tweeted black and green done, and then I've got part of the green, I got all the green, the next shade of green done in this section here, and I finished the black. So, and really, I think I'm just kind of bored of that color, but I kind of didn't want to go on to an orange or something. So, I'm just sort of taking a breather here. Um, so, yeah. So, we're getting, we're getting closer. Um, my goal is to have her finished by the end of March which I think I can actually do. Um, like I said, since I've been doing this, work on a couple of, th work on this for a day or two, work on that for a day or two, and sort of back and forth thing, I actually feel like I'm accomplishing more. Um, sorry, I'm shifting everything. I'm trying to put things back in bags to keep things together. Um, yes, I use the bag method. Um, Okay, so there's that. Um, and then finally, um, I've got an, got him a lot done, well, not a lot, I've probably got, I've got a third and a little bit more, so maybe a quarter of, it. yeah, we'll say a third of the first page of In the Fairy Tales book done by Soda Stitch. And this one's really long, because it's eight pages, and it's a very narrow chart. Um, I, uh, as is customary, I did do some Gary changes, and there's actually one more thing that I'm, I decided I wanted to do to it, but because I will need that color later in, on this page, I thought, you know what, I can wait and do this in a little bit. Um... So, I got Hansel and Gretel finished, and this blue is so pretty, but, see, maybe if I angle down, hey, look, you're getting a little bit of a free show there. Um, there we go. You can see that now. Um, this is on, I believe it's Haven, by Picture This Pu Us. Um, so, there's, here, I'll show you, so you can sort of see, that's the original. So, you can see the witch is flesh-toned. Um, and the house is kind of weird. So, what I did was, um, on Hansel, the only thing I really did was I backstitched with Ekru around his, his sleeves, um, to give them a little more definition. I gave him an eyebrow, um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of red design to his vest. The witch, I backstitched around the yellow patch on her apron, as well as I made her purple. Because I thought she should be purple. Um, then, and I think I told you last time, I switched the white for Ekru. Except the flowers and the grass. Uh, and the white and the candy cane. Those are still white. Um, because I wanted to distinguish between the Ekru frosting. The Ekru that you see... Or, sorry, the Ekru... All of the Ekru icing has... And I hope it'll show up. You can sort of see it a little bit. Um, oop, oop, go the other way. Um, it shows up a little bit. Um, all of, well, okay, so all of the Ecru, I took Krynik 095 blending filament to. And 095, I think, is called Starburst. So either Starburst or Stardust. Um... The sprinkles on top of the house are French knots. Uh, I hadn't... In t I did redesign, redesign the door and the win... The door, and I moved the window into it, and I also did a darker brown for the door to kind of distinguish. The knob on the door is gingerbread because the knob on the pattern was ridiculously huge. Like, it was like the same... Almost the size of one of the gumdrops. These French knots along the side, 
those were not originally planned. I um I kind of screwed up when I was doing the brown, and I accidentally did a second row, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do these fringe knots. I thought about it anyways. And those fringe knots do have Krynik in them, and I was actually surprised at how simple it worked. For two reasons. A, I figured I had, obviously, I figured out French knots, made them my bitch, learned a little dance. Um, but I got some Thread Heaven from Kimmy, which I think I may have said the last time, but I may not have. But she sent me some Thread Heaven, and it's wonderful and magical, and I love it. So it makes for some prettiness. Um, and then I've started the two little weird spots down here at the bottom are uh our trees um the top tree has apples in it and the second one is just kind of a tr general tree um and i've already tried out some revisions to little red riding hood so i don't think i'm gonna work on this one again this week i may i don't really feel it calling to me um but we're doing it where each page is two months so I have time. I don't really necessarily have to work on this. I may, because it's calling to me. Or if it's calling to me, not because it is right now. But we'll see. So I'm not too, too, too concerned about trying to work on it. Um, so those are my updates there. Um, I do, and I, I don't like showing off really in progress on the Once Upon a Time I'm I'm really not feeling the Rapunzel square, which is weird because I thought I would be, but I'm I'm not. I'm just not. So it's really forcing myself to have to do this one. Um, so it's currently banished. Obviously, I'm caught up in story time. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the banner on the top. Um, I really like the banner. I don't like the words in it. Story time classics. Um, because that just, to me, doesn't seem right. Um, I really love the banner. I love the idea of words in the banner, but I'm just not sure I'm committed to Storytime Classics. So I'm kind of debating and waiting on it for a little while. Um, I saw someone post on the, one of the Lizzie Kate Facebook pages the um, Things Unseen Sands Border. Looked amazing. So I'm feeling actually a little bit drawn towards it with the idea of I'm not going to do the border. I'm just not. And I'll frog out what I've done, because I don't like the border. And I think that's the main reason I'm not in the groove with that piece, because of that border. Um, and I know myself well enough to know that if I was going to use the border, I need to stitch it as I go along, because once I get done with it, I'm really not going to want to go back and stitch it. Um, and then I still have Winter House that I need to go back to, but that one's not called to me quite so much. Um, I think it's because I there I've really set myself a goal of one house a month, so I've still got, I mean, the month's not quite half over. Well, yeah, no, the month will be half over on Saturday. So I will probably pick it up again here soon. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of where things are. Um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Um... I need to be careful because I may accidentally stick this in my nose. Um, no, I think that's it. Um, so the tag, dang it, what was that tag that I was going to start? Because I thought, I had it the other night when I was watching um, one of the Crafty Curator's videos, which I'm not sure if she's Crafty Curator on here, but I know she's Crafty Curator on Instagram. Um, but... Now I don't remember what it was. It's also possible that I just had a dream about doing a tag. And then in my dream I had the questions. But I didn't actually have it when I was awake. Obviously, it's a dream. Um, well, there we go. You just got a whole lot of blank pause while I was trying to think. I, I really honestly don't remember what the tag was that I was going to create. Um, but I had a tag. So there you go. I had a tag. 
pretend like I had a tag, and that'll be my tag, is... No, that's really dumb. I was going to say tag if you've watched this. Um, but no, that's really ridiculous and doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, I'll try to come up with a tag for next time. Or not. I really don't know. I really probably shouldn't have made this video as tired as I am. Um, anyhow, so those are the works in progress. Um, and because I think we're about to have a disruption again, I'm just going to sign off now. So, hope y'all have a great week, and I'll see y'all soon.